and welcome to the first episode of Scam Busters, where I am going to determine if Amazon's scamming me or if I'm going to protect you from the nefarious world of scams out there. Hopefully these are all packed well. Okay, that's a computer, an HP computer. So this was one of the worst reviewed desktops we can find on Amazon. People are saying is it literally just dies. Some people say within six hours of it being set up and other people saying after a couple days, weeks or months. Oh, it's this chassis. So this is considered a gaming computer. So we've got dual channel memory, got ourselves what seems to be a reasonable heat sink. RX 5500, four gigs, honestly not bad. Nothing here is jumping out to me like it's a scam. And it is $664.35. It's actually not a bad price. No. So if this works and it's not actual trash, very reasonable. All right, well, it's less than ideal, but at least we do have a mouse and keyboard bundle, oh. which is not always something Oh, it's you okay. Get. You won't be needing that. What is that? For we have a mouse and keyboard for you. The Range Rover Evoke mouse and the antimicrobial waterproof touchpad keyboard. You know what I look at when I see a vehicle? I think about how ergonomic it would be on my wrist. Jared, how much was this terrible mouse that I'm gonna immediately hate? That Range Rover was $39.58. So it's a $5 mouse and a $30 Range Rover tax. Got it. Wait, wait. since this is powered off batteries, yeah. does that mean this is Range Rover's first electric car? Jared, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna respond to that. <laughs> oh my God, it has brake lights. <laughs> okay, that is actually kinda cool, but it doesn't work. Absolutely not. The laser's like flickering. Well, that was fast. This sucks. So to fully evaluate our potential scam PC, we're going to play a high quality, exciting game of Forza Horizon 5. Uh-oh, low system memory, 10 gigs of seven gigs. Well, that's not a great sign. Oh, oh, running low on video memory. Please close non-vital applications. Yo, it is really not happy. PC seems fine. <laughs> the PC might not be super happy with the amount of memory we have, but that's not an issue. What I'm seeing right now, not a scam. Maybe even a decent deal, assuming that it doesn't spontaneously explode. The number slide mini keyboard with retractable number pad. This was $86. Oh. Look, people have been arguing about 10 key or 10 keyless keyboards forever. This is, this is literally the meme of the girl holding up the tacos and is like, why not both? This is why not both, <laughs> except the, this seems terrible. To okay. be fair, all the bad reviews are talking about how cheap the quality is. I mean, can you hear this quality? That's not it. Oh, it's micro USB. What? Ugh. 86 bucks and they couldn't give you type C. Now it feels like I've got a $2 add on. Type, 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 type. Dude, that feels bad. There's literally nothing. There's like two tiny little feet. It also doesn't stay very well. There's two tiny little feet. There's like a gap. So as you type, the whole thing flexes back and forth. We've taken a look at some mountain keyboards that have a detachable number pad that you can actually put on either side. That's a cool idea because you can easily snap it on, take it off, connect to a USB. It's great, it works well. This feels like a problem in search of a solution. No. A solution in search of a problem. Behold, my friends, the next item. This is something that I have never experienced before. It is a third multimedia video box, AKA a wireless CarPlay adapter. However, it is apparently so much more because it also has HDMI. It was $305. To the Scammobile. Did you just call your own car a scam? It's the Scam Buster vehicle. We got to go to the scam mobile. Let us evaluate how this particular new play module works. So step one is just to plug it into my USB port, which supports Apple CarPlay. So plug it in here. Oh, CarPlay connected. Whoa. Okay. Well, this Oh, that's pretty fast. Oh, that's like straight like a fake CarPlay interface. The interface, it's a little slow. It's actually not terrible though. So I'm currently syncing with CarPlay wirelessly. Oh, Austin's iPhone 13 Pro is connected. Okay. Oh, look at that, it works. Oh, wow. Wow, that actually, that responsiveness, it definitely is a touch of delay, but it's really not bad. Very arduous journey. 
Look at that! We're watching a full YouTube video. Wait, let's actually try this. Let's drive. Oh my god. Let's see if it works. It's, it's gonna work. We're driving and watching YouTube at the same time. Is this questionably legal? No, it's just not legal. Is it a little janky? Yes. Is it a scam? Absolutely not. I am legitimately impressed. Man, busting scams is tough. Only there was a service to send high quality tech items directly to my door without the exorbitant upfront costs. This video is sponsored by Grover. Grover is a unique and flexible rental service that allows you to get your hands on the latest and greatest tech directly to your door. Whether it's something like a new MacBook or this Xbox, you can enjoy tech without breaking the bank. With rental periods from one to 18 months at a time, you can use the product for exactly as long as you want to. Their website is extremely easy to use and it makes choosing from their large selection of over 3,000 products completely hassle-free. As you can see, this is an Xbox Series S that arrived in perfect condition and ready to play. And if I did happen to do any damage to it, then Grover will help me out by covering 90% of the repair costs. It doesn't get any easier than this. You can join me in enjoying all the latest tech and receive one month off of a three month minimum rental period by using the code austinevans 33 off when you sign up today. Big thank you to Grover for sponsoring today's video. Arrow layer. So is this like meant to be like a laptop like battery? Oh, it is. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, which seems big, but it's actually not that big. I mean, you can get one of those for like, what, 30, 40 bucks on Amazon? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Well, surprisingly, most customers seem to enjoy this product. Okay. Uh, it only has one one star review. Okay but I don't understand how anybody can feel happy with it when it comes at the price of $228. I will say, lot of cables. Um, okay, I hate this thing, I'm just gonna say that for the record, but it comes with everything. I've got a Surface connector, I've got MagSafe, and then about every kind of barrel that any laptop has ever been made with. I mean, that's pretty nice. Jared, this, I mean, considering it's got like USB-C and everything, this is a fairly new product, no? Date first available, December 1st of 2020. So this is a less than two-year-old product. I almost don't care what happens at this point. At 200 and something dollars, this could charge my laptop perfectly well, do everything it says on the box, and it would still be an absolute scam because no one should ever spend this much money. So we have the Paw Silk Sound Wireless Lifestyle Headphones. What could possibly be a scam about these? These seem, <clears throat> these seem authentic. They say that it cuts out a lot. And I think Amanda Mitchell said it best when she said, cute, absolutely. Worth $60, no way. It does come with a little carrying case. And wow, that's dense. You see this? It's like literally like scuffed and dirty. Look, there's, there's a hair. You see the hair? There's a hair on this. How do you get a hair in headphones? Like these are brand new. Are they brand new? There's no seal. There's none of this, there's no tape, there's no seal, anything. Oh, that sounds like a scam. I'm, I'm using my powers of deductive reasoning here. I don't think these are new headphones. Look, there's literally like bits of like scalp. I see bits Do of not, scalp. I don't like I that I see word. dandruff. You're I kidding. see dandruff. Wow, that's really uncomfortable. That's like a hairband on my ears. Ow. Is it at least keeping your I hair in place? That. I don't think I had that problem to begin with. Is it pretty good? No. They sound like decent $15 headphones. They don't sound like they're 45 bucks. Also- But you're paying for the style. I'm paying for the, the smushed ears. You know what my ears are gonna look like after wearing these for an hour? It's just very uncomfortable. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not even exaggerating. This is more comfortable. This is actually more comfortable. Scam, no. Good, absolutely not. What do we have here? Hello Retro Cassette MP3 Player. So this is not actually a cassette. You can't put in a real cassette deck. It's just an MP3 player shaped like a cassette. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it's basically like a cassette, like sort of tape. I mean, it feels pretty accurate. Oh, it's even got a little tape on the bottom. Why is this a scam? Because this is seeming like a rad item that I love. So most people actually do seem to enjoy this. Some people don't like the fact that it's only one button on it. And for the low, low price of only $30, it's not much to complain about. 
Okay, if this is not absolutely terrible, it's not gonna be a scan. This is gonna be a thumbs up recommendation because I'm very much into it. I'm gonna ruin my experience by listening to it on these terrible headphones. I'm listening to Supernova right now, I had a team. Drop them tech tips, baby, let's go. Do you feel the tech tips? Woo! This is the two-in-one Bluetooth keyboard and stand for the original iPad, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch third generation. Um, this was bought new. Brand new. From Amazon.com. It's a new product. This is from 2010. <laughs> Most of the bad reviews are just that it didn't work that well. Uh, Wait, how old are these reviews? Well, you know, we got one from December 4th, 2010. There is one guy from 2010 that said it is far too small. <laughs> yeah, you think? My whole hand covers the keyboard. Why is it this small? Dude, one finger covers like two keys. For context, this is a regular <laughs> laptop keyboard. This is like, what, two thirds the size? It is minuscule. I'm gonna pair it with uh, something slightly newer than an iPhone 3GS, unfortunately. Wow, wait, do you see this right here? Using this keyboard may affect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. I've never seen that before. Is this so old? I mean, I guess to be fair, it says what, Bluetooth like two? This is Bluetooth 2.0. Hello. It is I. Oh God, this, this keyboard is actually the worst thing I've ever touched. This is suspiciously light. This one is a special one from me. It's an empty box. What is this? Apple Jacks Kellogg's breakfast cereal. $47? Is it really only one? Jared. Okay, okay, okay. So let me tell you some backstory on this item. So I saw this on Amazon with a one star review. It's labeled as a pack of six. And yet when you buy it for that $48, apparently you only receive one. It's sold and shipped by Amazon. This isn't a third party seller. The worst thing about this, besides the fact that this is a $47 box of cereal, it's all smashed. It didn't even show up with all that padding <laughs> and a box by itself, it showed up all smashed. Amazon, fix your sh- <gasps> This better be the most delicious Apple Jacks I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> Does it taste like $48? Not sure. Oh my god! I'm a scam I have to fully suck out the oil. Here, open wide. 